Are you someone that totally believes in the power of positive thought, but you can't seem to get it to work for your life? All right, I got a little tip, a little tool, a little story for you. Hi there, my name is Sierra Sullivan with Lifestyle Eyes, and I'm here in this gorgeous woods. It's a beautiful fall day. I'm with my dog Winston Bear, who you might hear rustling around in the, uh, in the leaves here. And I always love coming to nature because it inspires me and it opens me up and it gives me um, great inspiration to uh, bring back to my life and my business and my relationship and everything else. So I've been thinking a lot about positive thinking because we all know that it's way better than negative thinking, right? Negative thinking, if you follow or know anything about law of attraction, like attracts like. So if you're thinking negative thoughts, you're going to attract negative experiences, people, places, things. If you're thinking positive thoughts, you will attract more positive people, places, and things. However, positive thinking is just not enough. I love the idea of affirmations, and affirmations are not enough either. There's another couple pieces to the puzzle, and that is the feeling sensation, the words that we speak, and the actions that we take. Okay? So if you want something new, different, out of a, new, a new habit, a new pattern, a new experience, uh, to manifest something that you've never manifested before, then you can't just positively think about it. So a lot of you might be thinking, okay, money, I want more money. And your bank account keeps showing not so much money. And you keep thinking, oh, if I just think positive about money, more money will come. Well, that's not enough. Money, like everything else, like the perfect relationship, a uh, better um, family life, uh, more time in nature, you know, your thoughts are only portion of the equation. The words we speak are another huge piece. Now I have been reading this amazing book called Conscious Language and it really talks about how as a culture we have created certain phrases that have become norm that actually uh, negate a lot of the things that we're wanting when we're saying it. In fact, wanting is one of those words. <laughs> they say want actually creates lack. It's a mindset of lack versus I desire. Uh, you know, want makes it feel like you don't have it. So just a little tidbit there. So the words you speak are another piece of the equation. So I really want you to be mindful of the words you speak as you're thinking more uh, abundant, positive thoughts. Now the other piece is you need to get into the feeling. We have these bodies, right? We've got these bodies. I'm working my body right now, being on this nature trail. It's awesome. I'm breathing. I'm moving. I'm moving energy. We are not just spiritual beings. You've all heard, I'm sure, on some level, we are human beings having a spiritual experience. No, we're spiritual beings having a human experience, rather. Right? We, we have these bodies for a reason. Now, we have to incorporate these bodies. These bodies are like a vessel to increase the magnetism. Our brains, when measured scientifically, only can be measured so far out, like an inch or two. Where our heart energy, so the energy of emotions, the energy of literally the physical, our beating heart, can expand far, far, far out. I think, you know, meters if not, I mean, there's a site called Heart Math and you can get more statistics on that. So getting into the feeling of what it is that you want. Um, so if you want more money, go hang out with in places that make you feel wealthy. Um, go sit with your money and count it and touch it and feel it and, and imagine and get into that feeling energy. Go buy something that you love so that you have that experience of you know, investing in yourself or, or buy a program or, or whatever it is. So you gotta get into the feeling energy. So you gotta be changing your thoughts, watching what you speak, getting into the feeling sensation of what it is that you wanna create different in your life. Now the other piece, is your actions. Most of us say we want something and then take a completely different action in our life, right? We say we want more money and then we hoard more money. That action is not allowed, is not in alignment with what you say you want or desire rather, <laughs> what you say you desire. Or you say you really, 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 really want a man to ask you out on a date and then you walk around with a scowl on your face all day long. What man is gonna wanna ask you out on a date 
or you're not flirting enough, or you're not complimenting men, or allowing them to open doors for you, or whatever it is, right? So I want you to really think about, are your actions in alignment on a daily basis with what you say you want? There's all sorts of ways that we sabotage ourselves with our actions, right? We say we want to lose weight, and then we sneak that other piece of chocolate. And then we feel guilty about it, and so on and so forth. But there's a lot that we can be taking action on to really create the lives we want and to not play the victim and then think, oh, but I've been thinking so positively and I really don't understand why I'm not getting what I really, 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 really desire. Okay, so those four things, you can experiment with any four of them. The positive thinking, so if you're kind of a negative thinker or you're always projecting and worrying and thinking about the worst case scenario, well, you can work on your thoughts, pivoting, the art of pivoting. I've done a video about that in the past. Um, if you are somebody that complains a lot or speaks as though you don't have what you want, you can work on your words. You can do all sorts of research on what words are more higher vibration. You can get that book, Conscious Language. I can't remember the name of the author. Um, but practice being mindful about what you speak. Okay? If you're somebody that really wants to work on your actions because you know, you can see very clearly, well, yeah, I'd like to have more clarity in my life and then you go out drinking every night, uh, that's going to be kind of fuzzy. So you can work on when you make decisions, okay, is this having that extra glass of wine actually going to serve my desire to have more clarity about my purpose or my life? Probably not. So there's, you know, multiple ways. And then feeling, remember, you can feel certain way. So if you're feeling really broke and you want more money, then go give yourself an experience that makes you feel abundant, wealthy, and prosperous. So any of those four pieces, you can work on individually, you work on them collectively. I advise taking one at a time, and I'd love to hear how this is working for you in your life. Please post below what are you, what of those four are you going to choose to work on today, this week, and uh, report back. How's it been doing? And if you've been working on any of them, please also share below um, how they've been serving you and what has been showing up differently in your life as a result. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Once again, I'm Sierra Sullivan with Life Stylize, and I can't wait to hear all about what this has done for you. See you soon.